So let us right now try to understand the concept of slope of a line. So I've already used this word when we were discussing about the different centers of a triangle. And I told you, you'll be studying about this in detail in straight lines as well. So even before straight line, let me just introduce you here. What the slope of a line is. So it goes uh, very simple. Uh, so basically in my coordinate system, if I have a straight line, if I have a straight line, you know, something like this. So straight line is something which extend, extends in all direction, right? The angle through which I'll have to rotate this positive x axis. So this is your positive x axis. This is obviously the negative x axis, right? So the angle through which I'll have to rotate this positive x axis anti clockwise, anti clockwise. Let that angle be theta. Then tan of that angle is called slope. So I hope you have understood the meaning. Uh, so make your line, however it is. So this line looks like this. You have, you might have another line which might, you know, look like this. So extend that line, make it hit the x-axis. Now what you have to realize is when you you have to, you know, lift this x-axis, positive x-axis, and uh, rotate it in the anti-clockwise direction. So this is your anti-clockwise direction. This is clockwise, right? And this is anti-clockwise. So you have to rotate it in the anti-clockwise direction. And the angle that it makes, alpha. So this is this is the angle. Let the, let let it rotate by angle alpha to uh, reach that particular line. Then tan of that angle is called the slope of that line, right? So I hope you have understood the meaning uh, of what slope of a line is. So it kind of gives uh, the in, uh, the information about the inclination of a line or the direction of a line, right? It tells about all this. So let's look at the slope of a line joining two points. So here I have uh, two points. The coordinates of the first point is x1, y1. The coordinates of the second point is x2, y2, right? So I might have a line joining these two. I might have a line joining these two. The question is, uh, so obviously this line will, you know, extend in bo uh, extend both sides. What is the slope of this line? How, how do we find that out? So first of all, you have to take the positive x-axis, positive x-axis, that is this one, right? This particular branch, you have to lift it in the anti-clockwise direction and let it rotate by an angle theta, right? Then tan of that theta is basically your slope. So I basically need the tan of the theta. So let me uh, do this. Uh, let me construct this triangle here, this, a right angle triangle. So this angle is theta. If this angle is theta, then this angle is also theta, right? Because you know both these sides are parallel and this pink line acts as a transversal, right? So uh, you have this angle as theta. What is the length of this side? It is x2 minus x1, right? Because this point is x2 units away from the y-axis. This point is x1 units away. So this distance is x2 minus x1. Likewise, this is y2 minus y1. We've already seen that. So tan theta, if you do, it is opposite by adjacent. So it is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. So this itself is the slope and it is denoted by m, right? Slope is denoted by m. So as you can see, this is the formula that you need to know. If you know the coordinates of two points, if you know the coordinates of two points, then you can always find the slope of the line joining those two using this formula, right? So now that we know how to find the slope of the line joining two points, let us try to find the slope of this line having the equation ax plus by plus c equal to zero. So here is your line ax plus by plus c is equal to zero. So I need to locate two points on this line. If I'm able to locate those two points, then I can use this formula to get the slope of this line. Now, uh, put x equal to 0, put x equal to 0, then it will give you a into 0 plus b into y plus c. So, ultimate is equal to 0. So, obviously, if you solve this, you'll get c is equal to, uh, y is equal to minus c by b. So, x is equal to 0, y is equal to minus c by b. So, 0 comma minus c by b is a point on this line because it satisfies this line. Likewise, uh, let's have a look at uh, what happens when we put uh, y is equal to 0. So if you put y is equal to 0, then what you, have, what you have is ax plus b into 0 will be 0 is equal to c is equal to 0. So your x is equal to minus c by a. Right, x is equal to minus c by a. So your second point is minus c by a comma 0. So let this be your x1, y1, the two uh, first point on the line. Let this be x2, y2, second point on the line. So the formula for slope is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. So y2 is basically a 0 and y1 is basically uh, minus c by b and x2 is basically minus c by a and uh, x1 is 0. So when you put this, 
finally you get m is equal to minus of a by b when you solve this particular equation this is your final result so i can write it in another way you put a minus sign coefficient of x divided by coefficient of y that we also you can remember so whenever this equation is given this is a straight line remember this is the equation of a straight line you must have seen this in your 10th as well how do you find the slope of the straight line using this particular formula take the coefficient of x that is a coefficient of y that is b and put a minus sign that is how you find the slope of a straight line and how did we get this we got it using this particular approach right slope of the line joining two points so with this we complete the concept of slope of a line so let us now look at angle between two lines 